going on you guys it's me again it's your girl bianca sharae i kind of wanted to make this video it's to kind of talk about me prior before this video or whatever you know i made a couple of videos i kind of want to explain not really explain why i made the videos but explain why i feel like i had to make the videos kind of explain my choice choosing to follow follow god and choosing to live my life for him and that's it like there's not really anything else for me anybody that really comes into my life needs to know or accept that you know i feel like i should talk about being me being me realizing that you know being single is not a curse it's not something that is should be looked upon as negative i don't think anymore than i did before i thought being single was something that was just i just didn't want to ever be single i used to have a personality of somebody that was just always didn't want to be by myself um had to have friends had to have people in my life when i was in high school and you know went along with certain things followed certain things that i you know shouldn't have been following and stuff because you know i kind of i grew up in church it's not easy when you're a young person especially when you're in your like teens and you reach high school and you grow up in a Christian home it's a lot it's hard it's not easy my, my parents were not hardcore like strict Christian parents but obviously my parents grew me up in a Christian home and grew me up to fear God grew me up to fear God and I say fear meaning to hold God in a high respect and just respect following his word and respect following the faith of Christ is. It was very hard for me as a young child. Apparently, I feel like throughout my life, the devil has been trying to kind of dim my light and the devil has been trying to steer me far away from God. Not blaming myself, but I'm kind of feeling like, you know, I should have listened because there's little certain things that happened throughout my life where I knew that they were wrong but I still did them or I knew I shouldn't have been going certain places but I still went there or I knew I shouldn't have been hanging around certain people but I did hang around certain people and so that left a door open for the devil to really get in and sneak his little butt in and take over my life and he did have that the only thing the amazing thing about God though see is he was just always right there beside me watching out for me protecting me everything happens for a reason which is a very very strong belief of mine and also everything is um in his will that happens in your life because of that now when i look back on my life coming from where i came from see now that you know god was just always right there and he was just always watching my back because there's a lot of things that could have happened to me that didn't hang around the people that i used to hang around with there is just a lot of factors that entered my life that had it not been for you know god i would not be here right now and when I say I would not be here, I don't mean I would have been like I would be dead, but I just mean, well, that's true too. But I mean, not, I don't mean that specifically. I just mean like I wouldn't be in this space mentally, emotionally, where I am right now had it not been for him. Um, and basically, I think now I realize I was kind of filling spots, an empty spot within myself. I was filling that spot with the wrong type of friends and you know dating just really lost i was just really a lost person in life though i feel like everybody has to kind of go through stuff to kind of make you snap out of certain things there's always that big huge situation or storm that comes into your life and it usually comes in because the devil got to you know creep his little way in whether you're a christian or not whether you believe in god or not everybody in this world goes through storms tests trials everybody goes through it it's just inevitable that if you are a human being you are going to go through that not to sound negative or whatever but it's just it's just the truth every age that you reach and every year that comes comes with a different test or trial or problem you know and so i just realized that there were certain like moments in my life where i did start to try to get serious with god so many different times i mean so many different times i said okay this is it i'm gonna get serious with god i'm going to do what i need to do you know i'm gonna start reading my bible i'm gonna start doing this i'm gonna start doing that but my mouth was saying the words but my brain and my like everything else didn't follow after and that's kind of really important you need your whole entire self otherwise following saying you're gonna follow god is following god and 
it's not just about believing in God. Having a relationship with God is, yes, believing in God, but then having a relationship with God is also, the way I see God is like my best friend. You know, I see God as the number one most important being in my whole entire life that were it, if it weren't for him I wouldn't be here physically I wouldn't be here he made me so it's like I have to you know sort of you know respect that you know what I mean I have to respect that and let him kind of lead the way me being able to find out who I am as a person I realize is very important you know being able to find out who you are as a person is the most important thing you could ever do for yourself because if you don't then guess what's gonna happen you're gonna kind of find or search for somebody that you can fill with the spot or fill that empty spot if you don't figure out yourself and if you don't figure out who you are then what's gonna happen is your identity is gonna be put into somebody else which is what I did because I wasn't focusing on me really as a person but I was kind of focusing on you know I wanted a boyfriend I wanted to be in a relationship I wanted friends I wanted this I wanted that but everything else I wanted all these things that were just like frivolous stuff that you know at the end of the day isn't gonna help me because I have to help myself um, and so my focus was on other things other than myself and then because of that now that was kind of those things were kind of gateways to other things and other things that weren't good for me and opening up doors for the devil to kind of creep his little way in and kind of take over my mental state I wasn't in a good spot I wasn't I was not in a good spot I've gone into a bad relationship it didn't look bad on the outside but it wasn't for me it was it was pretty bad and it was my fault some of it was my fault i was not in the right kind of mental state to put myself into um that relationship now i'm not saying like i was i was abused in this relationship or anything i because i wasn't i wasn't abused no one like hurt my feelings or anything i'm just saying it wasn't a it wasn't a good relationship because it wasn't something that I should have wanted for myself and it was way too stressful for me. I can say I was 100% used in that relationship because I wasn't, you know, mentally where I should have been and because I was sort of having this on and off relationship with, with God um, and believe that just a little crack in the door and the devil can slip his feet in and because you know this just like the way God knows everything about you the devil knows everything about you as well um so he know knew my personality because he knows your the devil knows your vices and the devil knows what to use against you so he'll take your obviously he's a devil he takes your weaknesses and he'll use them against you whatever it, characteristic in you that you have you know whatever type of personality you have he can use it against you and he used mine against me numerous times i mean i would talk to guys not talk to you guys like a whole bunch but i mean i would i would i would date okay let's just say that i would date like any normal young you know teenager not teenager but like early adulthood and every single time i would date it's like none of those relationships ever worked or none of the, not relationships, I shouldn't even say relationships because they weren't even relationships. It was just me talking to the person or like, yeah, like, or dating the person, you know, and going out and whatever, hanging out and stuff. But none of those things would ever work out. They would always fall off. They, you know, they stop talking to me or I would stop talking to them or it just never worked out. And um, now I know that the reason why, one, is because they weren't who God wanted for me, and two, because I wasn't focusing on myself while God focused on who He wants to put with me. You know what I mean? I feel like if I don't figure out who I am and who God knows I am and who God sees me as, He can't give me the person who he has for me because how was he supposed to do that when you know that person is fashioned and made for me and everybody in this whole entire world God made somebody for that person the problem is so many people end up with the wrong people or so many people end up in the wrong relationship or so many people end up with all these problems because you don't figure out yourself as a person and 
who you are, what you like, what 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 things do you like? Figure out your your, your you as a person yourself. What is it? See, but the thing is that you can't even live you can't live with regret either. You can in the beginning. So I'll say this: I did have regret in the certain things that and dating that I did and saying God, like you know, if I had only like listen then why didn't I do this at the end of the day but then don't don't consistently dwell on that because then the devil can use that in order to trick you into kicking yourself and those little things that you do those little thoughts that you have can open up doors for the devil to get his little claws in and sink them in and make you then kick yourself or say oh well you're so stupid like you know because next thing you know you'll be thinking that oh my gosh yeah like i'm so stupid how could i have done that how could i have done that why did i and then you'll end up getting depressed or sad because you'll start blaming yourself for putting yourself in the situation that you got put in and blah 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 no you can't once you are out of something you need to heal yourself you know and that's why you know for me god was the person that helped me jesus was the person that helped me heal myself from all that stuff and really you know praying a lot you know praying for me is one of my favorite things to do and when i say praying i mean talking to god having conversations with god meditating on god which you know i'll make a video sort of explaining i guess what i mean by meditating on god but reading my bible my bible has become my like little manual anytime i'm feeling any type of way i just open up my bible and times at times you know god will speak to me or sometimes you know i'll just open my bible and just pick up first that has to do with the situation I'm dealing with. Because for every single situation you deal with, there is something in the Bible for that. The The key is you have to have a relationship with God in order to be able to really key in to what the Bible says and to really key in and really see behind. Because the Bible is, the words are there. But then, you know, there's things that will just pop out of you, out at you that you'll be like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then there's things that you need to have you know, a close relationship with God there. So with the Holy Spirit, basically, he can explain to you whatever you read means or, you know, that type of stuff. I didn't have that. Like back in the day, I consider the me now completely different from the person that I was before. I'm not the same person. I don't accept the same things. I know what I deserve. Um, you know what I mean? And I would rather be single for the rest of my entire life than to be with the wrong person. I would have never have said that before. I would have never. I didn't have that type of mentality. See, I, I being single to me was like a disease. I never wanted to think of myself as being single. I am a romantic. So yes, I want my wedding. I want my two kids, boy, girl. Well, I wanted four kids, but no, I don't know about that yet. But, you know, whatever God wants me to have, I'll have. You know, I want my wedding. God knows everything I want. He knows everything I want in a man. He knows everything I want because he knows me. I am getting to know the me that he knows because he knew you before you were born. He knew you before he made you. So he knew, he knows everything about you because he created you. So he knows your ins and outs. He knows what makes you cry and what makes you laugh. He knows what you like. He knows what you love. He knows what you don't like. He knows what you like in other people. He knows what you want in a mate, whoever you, you know, ends up with. Or, you know, he knows that. So since he knows that, it's like so much more, I feel so much more freer than to really just relax you know and chill out i don't need to go date everybody i don't need to go online today i don't need to go out and search for a man i don't need that because I, I have somebody doing that for me already you know god already knows and when the time is right then he'll send the person that he wants me to be with whatever time that is sometimes god sends people in to your life and that person could be who you're going to be with for the rest of your life but it starts out as friendship relationship because i believe that you need to build something with somebody and not just jump into something which is a mistake i made all the time you can't do that and, and that is a mistake a lot of people make a lot of people rush into things a lot of people rush into doing things a lot of people rush into a lot of stuff which causes problems and issues and heartbreak so that was me and now that i look back 
back on it. It's just like, I'm such a happy person. I'm so happy. I could not be happier than I am right now. And just the fact that like, you know, I look back, I was saying that you can't live in regret. You can do it for a little bit, you know, you can have that little leeway, but then after, like, pick yourself up because you can't continue to live in regret and kick yourself for certain things that you did because you know what? You are a different person than in life. People change and people change either for the good or for the bad. When you have the privilege of being brought out of a certain situation, you have to look at it like it's not bad. It's not all bad. It isn't. It really isn't. Because you're alive. You're breathing. Just because you got out of a five-year, six-year, ten-year relationship and you have children. You might have children with the with the person. Or, and that's hard. Being Living and being a human being is so hard. And it is not easy at all. But when you have the awesome love of God, when you have peace inside of you, I'm telling you, it's like you can always feel. And it's like you can always feel God there. And I look at myself. I think about myself now, thinking about myself back then, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, what was I doing? Why was I doing the things I was doing? Um, and then I say, you know what, wait a second. If I could go back in time and thank each and every single person that rejected me, thank each and every single person that did negative or said negative things about me, I would. I would thank them because I would say, you know what, you made me who I am. It led me here. So if you think about life that way, it's a lot easier to get through certain things. If you think about, well, that was like the worst relationship of life. I can't believe that I actually was in that relationship, but everyone around me did not have a good feeling about the person or everyone around me was saying, mm, Bianca, I don't think so. Like, you know, no, you know, you could do better than that. Like, what are you doing? You know, people, people were saying certain things and saying they don't have good feeling about the person that I was with and stuff. And then I didn't listen. And so I stayed where I was and I believe that all those people that were telling me about their feelings and how they feel about the relationship that I was in was God kind of warning me and giving me a forewarning because he knew what was going to happen if I didn't listen. He knew the situation I was going to get myself and I got myself into a real bad, bad, bad situation in every way. Uh, but he knew that I would have got myself into the situation I was going to get into and then he knew he was going to have to get me out the way that he did get me out and that it would cause a big blow up and a storm. I went to my friend's church and her pastor is a, he is a prophet. Whether you believe in that or not, I do. And he did tell me there's something coming and I have to make sure I stay close to God. There's a storm coming in my life. And I, this was two, three years ago. He went to this church and I was visiting and he wanted to speak to me and told me a couple of things. He told me that there's people in my life that are not right. There's people in my life that are talking behind my back. There's people in my life that are saying all kinds of spreading stuff about me. There's people in my life that are not proper. And then he said, and there's a storm that's going to be coming and I have to make sure that I stick close to God because it's going to be hard. That was it. I knew this is what God was trying to protect me from. Saying he, I have to stay close to God, I didn't listen to that either. I mean, I fell off. You know, anybody, I feel like I don't want to get or be with anybody ever again. That, that's going to be a distraction. That's why being single for me right now, I don't look at it as a bad thing because I don't need anybody, you know, that's going to distract me from the important things, which is my relationship with God. Keeping God first is the most important thing for me because it really makes a difference when you have God with you during a storm in your life. Having God with you when you're dealing with a storm in life or you're at a, you're at like a crossroad in your life and it's just like the worst situation ever that you've ever found yourself in. Having God with you there helps a lot because you don't kick yourself as much. And when you do kick yourself, you kind of God kind of is that comfort and to let you know, hey, listen, yes, you did this. Yes, you made that mistake. You screwed up. Yeah, but I'm here and I'll fix it. Don't worry. That's what God says. You know, I'm going to fix it. Don't worry. The important thing is that you realize your mistake and you don't make the same mistake again. That is the basis of following the faith or being a Christian. That is one of the foundations. It's just keeping God close to you so he's close enough that when you do make mistakes, he's there. Listen, your problems, your issues, your actions that you did that caused certain problems, mistakes that you've made are non-existent. Think of them as non-existent because God already covered that. He already knew what you were gonna do before you did it. Let's be real. He already knew you were gonna sleep with that guy, get pregnant, and not end up even staying with that person before. The thing is, 
we all make our own decisions. So when people blame God, you can't really blame God because it's not God that's doing that. You are. God doesn't want a robot. That God doesn't want you to come to him or force you to do anything. No. Would you want that? You have to think. Like, people have to think. Like, would you want to force somebody to love you? Force somebody to come to you and ask you for your advice or for your help? You don't want You don't want to force anybody because otherwise it's not genuine. Nobody likes when people are not genuine with that. Nobody likes that. So why would why would God, why would God want un people that are not genuine? He, he doesn't. I don't know. I just felt like doing this little chit-chat for some reason I look at myself now and I'm just like such a happy much happier person and I can and knowing that just the fact that I don't need to have anybody in my life and I could be single for the rest of my life for all I care but the most important thing is that I have God with me that's all I really need and when he thinks that the timing is right to put whoever he needs to put in my life with me who was going to be my husband who was going to marry me then that's when he decides but until then I'm gonna to continue to do what I do I'm gonna to continue to this is one of the things that he told me to do you know God spoke to me and just said you know you got to do this this is what you got to do you got to you know you came out of this situation I can't just you know not talk about what God brought me through I can't not speak about the love I have for him I, I can't not talk about my love for God and share my testimony of how I came back to God. I came back to God basically because of that relationship was the big like doozy that kind of caused me to snap out of it sort of thing and I just said you know what that's it like I'm just gonna give everything over to God. I am done with myself. I am done. I am through honey. You are the boss. Take control and that's it and that's that's what you need to do if that's what you want to do take control of my life and that's it and I will do what you want me to do and whatever that is I'll do it because you only want the best for me because you love me I mean honey my life is blissful now I am happy you know I go to church yes but my honestly half my life is in church because I you know I join I'm in my my church's praise team which is something I never would have expected, which is somewhere, which is something else. I mean, God put me in there and I'm happier than ever. You know, so I'm either a rehearsal at church doing that. I go to Bible study every Wednesday, you know, and it has grown me. I have grown. I am happy. I am a different person than I was. I love my life and the people in it. And, you know, I just ask God to kind of bring proper you know, people in my life, so he's an awesome, awesome, awesome God. He is, he's, he's great, you know, and I guarantee if you want to get to know him, honey, you can get to know him right now. It's not hard, and people make it such a complicated thing when it's really not. Anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. I really am just, was just rambling, but I am, I'm just going to put this video up anyway, because, listen, I really do, um, I'm taking this channel seriously now so I really do want to make videos for y'all okay so I hope you guys like this video maybe got a little something from it because I'm really just talking but yeah I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one okay god bless you have an amazing day Bye.